Now, North Korea is on a roll, scaring its neighbors and the world. On Friday, the Hermit Kingdom fired yet another intercontinental ballistic missile, a missile which can carry a deadly payload all the way to the U.S. mainland. Kim Jong-un seems to be firing all cylinders, rattling the world. Our next report tells you more. World leaders convened an emergency meeting on the sidelines of an APEC summit in Thailand on Friday after North Korea fired off yet another missile. Tokyo said it was likely an intercontinental ballistic missile and that it landed 130 miles off the coast of Japan. The United States, South Korea, Canada, New Zealand, Japan and Australia all condemned the launch, only a day after Pyongyang's last projectile. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. We strongly condemn these actions and we again call for North Korea to stop further unlawful destabilizing acts. On behalf of the United States, I reaffirm our ironclad commitment to our Indo-Pacific alliances. Together, the countries represented here will continue to urge North Korea to commit to serious and sustained diplomacy. Japan's Prime Minister warned of further missile launches, as well as a possible nuclear test. It has been a record-breaking year for Pyongyang's missile program, after it resumed testing long-range weapons for the first time since 2017. A tally by the US State Department puts this as the eighth ICBM to be launched this year. The North's ballistic missile tests are banned by the UN Security Council resolutions. Pyongyang also broke its self-imposed moratorium on long-range launches. South Korea and the United States held joint Air Force drills on Friday in response to this latest test. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.